Hi everybody, my name is African Millennial. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. So today we're going to talk about is Nigeria still the giant of West Africa? Now, first and foremost, I believe that the title of giant of Africa was given to Nigeria because of its population size. So giant of Africa meaning that it has a lot of people. I suppose that is what the definition of giant of Africa means. Lately, I've been seeing some videos of some Ghanaians and Nigerians saying things like Ghana is now the giant of Africa. And it's like, mm -mm. listen, I know people are happy. I know people are jubilating, but Ghana is not a giant of Africa. Okay. Ghana to me is like the secretary <laughs> of West Africa. Ghana to me is like that person that everybody wants to be friends with of West Africa. But can you sit there and say that Ghana is the giant of Africa? More so the giant of West Africa? What's wrong with you? When people say things like that, I'm like, okay, you people, where are you? <laughs> are you guys smoking or drinking something? When you guys say that Ghana is the giant of Africa, are you guys all right? Are you guys okay? The population of Ghana is only probably 31 million. Last time I checked it was 30 million. It's probably 31, 32, 33 maximum million people. But Nigerians 200 plus million population. You're here saying that Ghana is the giant of Africa. Okay, I get it. Ghana has better electricity. Ghana has a uh, better education and uh, yeah, and the currency is higher. Okay, probably a better president too. But Ghana is small at the end of the day. And that's just it. Ghana is a great country. It's moving forward. But people are underestimating that Ghana is like this, okay? <laughs> Ghana is a small country, especially compared to Nigeria. Nigeria is about three or four times the size of Ghana, okay? land wise population wise it's about five times uh the population of ghana so to say that now ghana is leading africa like i joke about it too but nobody is leading africa okay nobody is leading africa ghana is simply just improving its economics but there's still things happening in Ghana right now that if you were living in Ghana or if you were to watch Ghanaian news, there are things about Ghana still that would concern you. So when people are like, oh, Ghana, Ghana's the new uh, Nigeria. Like, no, no, this is the thing about Nigeria. Let me just say it very quickly because I know some people don't have time to watch long videos. Nigeria is being destabilized on purpose, okay? If Nigeria were to be united and if Nigeria were to actually allocate its about $400 billion properly, there wouldn't be as many problems as there are in Nigeria right now. So it's not that Nigeria is, some people will say Nigeria is a failed state, Nigeria is hopeless. To me, it's just mismanagement of funds. What I'm trying to say is Nigeria still has the potential. Okay, $400 billion is a lot of money. I don't know how it's being used. I don't know who is messing with it. But $400 billion, that is a lot of money. Some countries in Africa, you look at their GDP, you'll even be shocked. You'll even be shocked. It's not even 10 billion. It's not even 10 billion. So to sit there and say, oh, well, Nigeria can't do this. No, no, no. Nigeria is still the giant of Africa. If we're talking about, you know, um, Nigeria being the big brother of Africa, Nigeria still has done a lot for Africa. Okay. Right now, Nigeria is not looking too good, <laughs> but it doesn't mean that Nigeria still does not have the potential, that the potential is there. But I honestly think Nigeria is not doing what it needs to do. One, because of incompetence, and two, because of external factors that don't mind seeing Nigeria this way. A lot of people don't know that there are so many undiscovered resources in Nigeria, meaning 
We know about the oil. Nigeria has gold. But there are so many resources in Nigeria that Nigerians don't even know about. There are undiscovered resources in Nigeria as we speak right now, especially in a lot of those states that a lot of the indigenous tribes, ethnic groups live in. So when people just say things like, oh, Nigeria is trash, Nigeria is not going anywhere, Ghana has overtaken its place. Well, I, in as much as I love Ghana and I'll always love Ghana, Ghana does not have the economic power yet to do that, okay? I know Ghana's president is saying that they want um, Ghana to be beyond aid. So there is a movement for Ghana, just like Tanzania, to no longer receive foreign aid. And I'm in so much in support of that. But do I see Ghana's GDP getting to 400 million anytime, sorry, 400 billion anytime soon? No, I don't. I really don't. What I think can help West Africa is if Ghana and Nigeria show other West African countries certain things that they can do. I think that would help the whole region and then we'll stop placing so much pressure only Nigeria just to get it together. When we have Cote d'Ivoire, nobody speaks about Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire is a wonderful country. They have a lot of money there too. Senegal is beautiful. Senegal is beautiful. Liberia, Sierra Leone have so much potential. Cameroon, if they could get it together, they would be great too. So there's so much potential for all of these countries. And to say things like Nigeria is no longer the giants of Africa. <laughs> if it's not Nigeria, who is it? Ethiopia? Who is it going to be? Hmm? If Nigeria is no longer the giant of West Africa, according to some people on YouTube, I'm asking you who is it going to be? Because I already told you it's not going to be Ghana. Is it going to be Kenya? <laughs> if we want to do this united African army, don't you think that the manpower that Nigeria can be used? They said that in about 30 years, the population of Nigeria is going to double the game. So maybe in your children or your grandchildren's lifetime, Nigeria will get to 1 billion people or close to 1 billion people population wise and people are here talking about oh it's not the giants of Africa it's Ghana yeah guys relax just relax but in any case that's all I wanted to say for right now I'll see you guys very soon with another video topic like the video and let me know what you guys think do you guys think that? Nigeria is no longer the giant of Africa. I mean, I know Nigeria has its issues. It has its electricity issues. It has its corruption issues, but so does every other country. I think people sometimes forget how big Nigeria is. All other African countries are dealing with what Nigeria deals with, but they only deal with it in a very small occurrence. So it doesn't just mean that Nigeria is just so horrible. I know I don't live in Nigeria, okay? I know I'm not living under the conditions of Nigeria, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, there's no excuse. There is no excuse. And I do see Nigeria changing very, very soon. I do see it. But in wanting Nigeria to get better, we shouldn't put the pressure on other countries to get to where Nigeria is. Because to be honest, it's gonna take a very long time for other countries to even get to where Nigeria is in as bad as Nigeria is. It's gonna take some countries. I don't even, to be honest, I don't even see some countries getting to the level that Nigeria is in to be. If you're asking me, under the conditions that Africa is right now, under the conditions that these puppet leaders are in right now, don't ignore or disrespect Nigeria. Thank you very much. Ghana can win. Ghana can do great, but Ghana and Nigeria, I think personally, are still in different lanes. I personally think that Ghana should be competing with Ivory Coast and not so much with Nigeria, but I'll talk more about that later. I'll see you guys with another video topic. Thank you for being here. Like and comment. Let us have a discussion in the chat section and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.